Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I have probably the best 10 watt laser engraver that we've ever reviewed on the channel. This is the We Create Vista, the little brother to the We Create Vision that was released last year. Um, I want to thank We Create for sending this out so I can show you guys. Overall, there is some serious tech put into this machine, and yes, I said 10 watts, and it is still impressive. Um, it's, uh, I know the Vision comes in the 20 watt or the 40 watt model. This one so far comes with 10 watts or the new two watt infrared um, that is swappable. Uh, we Create did let me know that the two watt infrared is on the way. So I may show that in this video or in the future video, most likely the future video so we can do a full video on it. But note that it is swappable. And it's awesome, uh, it's a lot easier than the other unit is what they're telling me. Um, they made this a lot easier to swap in and out. So in the future, I'm really hoping that they will release a 20 watt laser head or a 40 watt laser head. But as of right now, no word on that. So if you're gonna buy it, buy it for the 10 watt or the two watt right now. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about the unboxing experience really quick, because there are three major differences in the unboxing of this unit. As you can see, I already have it unboxed. We're gonna skip that, but I'm gonna tell you the differences here. The original unit um, and this unit is the same as far as cardboard, styrofoam, and the trays being in the styrofoam itself on shipping. But the big difference in the unboxing experience is those trays are clearly marked with giant red labels now. They also have um, these little pull tabs here that come inside the lid um, hinge. You pull those out and that protects the lid from being skewed or damaged during shipping. And then as soon as you open the unit, remove the top layer of styrofoam in there, you're presented with all of the accessory boxes like you were before, but they're all clearly labeled, well spaced out, and you can't miss anything. So overall, the un unboxing experience has went up significantly from the other one. And they also include a giant label as soon as you open that box with instructions on how to unbox it, how to get it started. Super impressive. I'm glad that we create went ahead and did that. That made it a whole lot different for the, um, the user experience here. Now with all that out of the way, let's talk about all of this uh, serious tech that I'm talking about. And when I say serious tech, um, they have done another innovation that has kind of blown my mind. <laughs> Just like last time when we first turned on our machine, uh, that machine rose up. This one doesn't raise up. The actual laser head itself flips. So when you're wanting to do rotary engraving, it flips backwards, like towards me, towards the back of the unit. As you can see, I already have it set up in rotary um, settings right now. So that's insane all by itself. The fact that they can once again, go ahead and innovate the laser experience to something that no other laser has had. I don't think any other laser has done this on the market. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. But that's amazing all by itself. And the fact that you can do that swappable head easily for the two watt infrared is gonna be awesome too. Um, let's talk about the actual main other feature in here as well is the camera on the top. The camera is all the way up top here on the top of this lid. And um, as you can see, there's these little gas or air pistons here that hold up the lid. So it doesn't flop down like the old Vision did. Um, and there's a reason why is that camera is actually held up this high to reduce the distortion of that fisheye camera lens and take an image of your entire bed. And the accuracy is so well for perception level that you can actually put different size materials in there. So you could put like a leather patch and like a slate coaster in at the same time with a 2.5 millimeter difference in height. And it can actually process two different settings and you can do both items at one time. So that's cool all by itself with that camera. And the fact that it's reduced distortion because it's not like fish-eyed anymore when it's so high like this, um, that's awesome as well. And then it also shines down a red laser dot that does the autofocus from the camera itself versus raising and lowering the machine like the Vision did. Um, so 
there's some serious tech built right into the camera itself. Um, I'm overall really impressed with it. The fact that you can do different heights and different settings. Um, the fact that it, there's not even like a distortion level, uh, hardly at all, is awesome. Everything that I've used so far has been dead on accurate. Um, there's also um, a lot of safety features that's been built into this that's been different as well. There's now a fire detection safety feature. Um, they also have two new ports on the back for fire detection as well. They've got a gas input, like CO2 gas, and then they got an uh, output for power for that fire unit. Um, they haven't mentioned anything about that fire unit to me, but I'm, it's clearly going to be an accessory that gets attached to this. So I would expect to see that in the future. Um, we create, if I'm wrong, you let me know, but otherwise I don't know why you'd put this on the machine. <laughs> but other than that, it has the air assist, it has the hose on it. It even comes in white or a very bright, shiny blue color. Um, so if you want it in blue and you don't like the white, you can do that, but it is a very shiny blue. So just a heads up on that, it's not the dark blue like the Vision is. Um, overall, this is super impressive. Um, I've got some engravings on wood and we're gonna do a rotary engraving as well. So we're gonna jump into that here. Um, the uh, one more thing I do wanna mention on the camera is this fully supports light burn now. So unlike the Vision where it was just partial light burn, but the camera wasn't working, they did say this is fully supported with Vision and the camera um, from what they've told me. I don't have a way to verify that because I don't have uh, light burn for this unit here. But other than that, I just want to mention that to you guys for all you guys who are fans of uh, light burn. Now, as far as the software itself, it's going to be running the same WeCreate Make It software as the Vision did. That's what I'm using all throughout this video. They've included 2,000 different projects that you guys can share or use. Um, I think they have 500 different type fonts now, and then multi-language packs. So if you're if you're multi uh, multilingual, um, you'll be able to do multiple different languages as well. Um, and then they also have updated like uh, software features for like engraving photos, such as Jarvis mode for wood. Um, they have different kinds of ones that I'll throw up on the, uh, the, on the screen here so you guys can see those different features. Um, but enough talking for me, let's go ahead and get into the engravings here and uh, show you that. And then I'll do my closing thoughts for you guys on this machine. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be the first time lifting the lid here. We're gonna lift this up. And what I've noticed is it looks like we're gonna actually put the material in here like this and align the material with this bottom edge of the unit instead of all the way up top like we're used to. It appears the camera actually takes a picture of the very bottom edge of this laser here all the way down to the bottom and utilizes this space and not the upper space. So just keep an eye out for that. You're gonna be use, utilizing the, the space right underneath the edge of that laser unit here itself. Something that you have to get used to is leaving the lid open so that camera can actually shine down, take a picture before you close the lid. So we're gonna take a picture here really quick. All you gotta do is hit refresh like the old unit. It'll take a picture into the software itself. And then we're gonna engrave something basic, just a basic text um, and then I'm going to be using an external air filter for this. So it's going to get kind of loud here. And we'll show you that engraving. All right, you guys. So as you can see, it has officially cut this out. Um, I think those settings worked out really well from the looks of it here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and see if it falls out here. There we go. Um, like I said, that was a complete and total guess on settings and it turned out great. I used the preset settings for the balsa wood on this. So this, this looks great for the engraving. It did really well. Um, it does make kind of a weird noise whenever it's engraving, but uh, that's probably because it's such a small area and so much power being put through there. The cut actually worked out great. I used the same exact settings as I used on my 20 watt to cut this material out, except I did two passes thinking, 
cutting it in half and then just running it twice would work. And sure enough, it did work out. So that is the first ever test on this. Um, we're gonna try and see if we can do the uh, rotary tool with the, uh, the laser head pointing outwards next. Um, but other than that, I'm really digging this unit. Uh, this does a really great job right off the bat here. All right, guys, so real quick look at setting up the rotary tool. Just to save you guys some time, you will have to pull the arm all the way forward to the, uh, the front part of the unit. You'll also have to flip your laser head. I recommend doing that before pulling it forward. It's just easier. You unscrew both screws on each side, this little silver screw here and here, and then you flip the unit and then re-screw them back into the corresponding holes, and then you're done moving the laser head. Um, next up, you would install the rotary. There's two screws about here and here that you pull out of the machine, and then you put your rotary in, put it back in, and then you send the cord to the back of the unit here. Make sure that cord is plugged in before you turn on your machine or the laser head will home back up front. So don't do that. Um, lastly, to get your cup in here, you will need to use the chuck tool that looks like this. After you assembled your rotary, it's just a couple of screws. Um, and then you will put your chuck right here and then tighten that up to hold your cup and you have your leveler here as well. Before you do any of this though, you do want to remember to remove the actual trays out of the unit too. Um, but other than that, we are ready to engrave on this cup. We're going to test this out. I don't know any of the settings, so it may not turn out the best, but I'm going to show you guys a first attempt at it and just the fact that it works shooting sideways out of this machine. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I went ahead and turned off the lights. We're going to go ahead and do this rotary engraving for the first time. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to start this um, and I'm going to turn on the external uh, fan here, the little exhaust I have it hooked up to, so it's going to get kind of loud. I'll mute it for you guys and let you watch this go. guys so as you can see we are done engraving we're going to lift the lid and reveal what it looks like as you can see there is a nice silver there with a bunch of dust on it we're going to have to wipe all that dust off i'm going to show you the end results in just a second sorry for moving the camera so much during that engraving but i wanted you to see all angles the actual laser head the back of the laser head all in action at once so that's the reason why i was moving around hopefully i cut it up in a way that it isn't too choppy for you guys um, so let me take this out. I'll clean this up and I'll show you the end results and we'll talk about this laser some more. All right, you guys. So we got to talk about this cup. Um, I went ahead and just cleaned it up. I didn't do any extra runs or passes with the settings I thought was going to be bad. This actually turned out really great. Let me go ahead and kind of uh, bring this up closer to the camera and show you how much of a shine is on that. This turned out really well after hitting it with a magic eraser and a paper towel. Um, I'd probably go a little bit darker just because if you look really close at the beard, there's kind of like lines or pitting in there. Um, I'd probably go a little bit more power next time or a little bit slower speed, I should say. The speed that I used was 158 speed and 100 power. So if you end up getting the Vista and you're looking for settings for your first cup, that's a good starting point. All cups have different rubber coating and plastics on it. So uh, you may have to use different settings than that. Um, so let's go ahead and get my final closing thoughts on the, this machine, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so that is the We Create Vista, the little brother to the Vision. Overall, this is a very impressive unit. Um, by far, and I truly mean this, this is way by far surpassing my expectations of a 10-watt laser. Any other 10-watt laser that I've ever done or reviewed, this blows it out of the water. The air assist is better, it's set up better, just like the Vision is. Um, the fact that you can flip the laser out towards your, um, your engravings of your cups, and the fact that I did this cup in eight minutes, 
at 10 watts and it still looks this good. Granted, I could probably go a little bit slower. Um, I'm probably gonna make this my permanent uh, unit for engraving cups. Um, I'm probably gonna just do that. But uh, to be completely honest, it would be great for engraving photos too on wood. The fact that I'm just guessing at the settings based on the other vision and then just kind of dialing it up a little bit for the 10 watts versus the 20 watts, uh, this is really detailed, and the fact that if you're going to dial it in with actual settings, if you do a test grid, you're going to get even better results. And then in their software, they even added like Jarvis mode for photos, and there's different kinds of modes. I'll go ahead and throw those up on the screen so you can see those different kinds of modes for different materials. Um, the fact that you can do different height settings at once is kind of crazy too. Um, I love the fact that you have the camera built into the lid so you can get a clearer image and you don't have as much of a fish eyeing effect as you did with the other machines. And the fact that it's at the top of the lid, which would bring it to the front of the machine, all your material is being blown back this way, keeping that lens cleaner for longer. Um, and then just the fact that you can flip that laser head is a, a super innovative idea from Lee Create. Um, they already created the lift on the auto lift on the other vision, which was awesome all by itself. But the fact that they wanted to reduce the height of your, your machine to get you a smaller unit, and then they just flipped it forward, that's pretty cool to me. Um, so my, over thought, uh, my overall thoughts on it is if you like this machine based on what you've seen, I definitely recommend this as a starting machine for sure. Uh, for your average hobbyist, and then if you wanna go up higher, you can always get the Vision or a different laser that has more power. But like we mentioned, this does have a swappable head for the two watt infrared. You can swap that out anytime that you want. Um, and hopefully in the future, they'll do a 20 watt and a 40 watt. If they can pull that off on this machine, that's gonna be amazing. Um, I wouldn't expect any less from WeCreate because uh, they've been open less than a year. They already have two machines out and this is their third machine now, um, right at the year marker. And uh, they have um, came out with infrared heads that weren't even compatible with the other machine, made them compatible for you guys. Um, overall, I'm really impressed with we create right out of the gate on the first year. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. Once again, there are links down in the detailed section below that will uh, is an affiliate link and you can purchase this. It'll help the channel and I hope you guys have a great day.